What's the crack, Les? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Player of the Week reviews. We're going to start with the European Club Championship. I'll do the domestic league ones as well. Now listen, if you've been watching for a while, you know I do this every week. A lot of people still like spinning for the Player of the Weeks. And I've been down on them a little bit. But the only reason I've been down on them, boys, is that I just feel like that they could freshen up the Player of the Weeks to make it more... You know, have an event that you have to use a couple of Player of the Weeks. Give us two or three free spins from earning in the events. Or even, another idea that I had was give Rafinha something like Blitz Curler or Momentum Dribbling or Phenomenal Finishing for a week, a temporary booster, rather than this booster here, which is going to be there, obviously, you know, all the time. It's going to be activated when the player is an A rating, but obviously you could give him an, and also you could give him a skill that lasts for like a week or something. Something different, right? Now we are going to start with Rafinha. Obviously, he's been absolutely beasting. I'll be honest, boys, I didn't really rate Rafinha too well uh, over the last couple of seasons. But man, he is absolutely beasting. And this is a phenomenal card, honestly. You've got the speed and the acceleration, the kick and power, the balance. Everything is kind of where it needs to be. Obviously, the balance at 85 would be better. But yeah, it's a pretty decent card, honestly. And especially with the manager boost, if you're using Arteta, you're going to have that tight possession at 90 as well, which is very, very decent. So... Um, yeah, it's definitely a nice card. Finishing as well is going to be close to 90. His attack and awareness is going to be over 85. Very solid card. Although I am a bit disappointed that he can't play kind of like an SSCF role. Even though he's down as a whole player, he can't play AMF either. So that's a bit of a bust on that card. But other than that, it's pretty decent. He's going to be joined on the boosters with Nunes and Vasquez. We'll get to him in a second. We also have Kelleher here, who's our goalkeeper. I would like Kelleher, lads, honestly. He doesn't have an in-game face yet. He doesn't have low, long throw or low punt, so that's a bit of a no-no. Um, but obviously, he's our Irish keeper, so, you know, me being biased, I would like him. We also have Ueda and Minamino. These two boys here, pretty decent. Now, listen, I'm going to talk about an issue with these attacking midfielder players, right? Very, very good stats, very good skills. And obviously, he's going to have pretty much everything where he needed to be for a standard run-of-the-mill attack and midfielder. Um, it's going to be the same with this center forward here. You know, he's lacking that tight possession and balance for where the game is at at the moment and not that great in the air. This is what happens when you're starting to compare these guys, which is unfair with the likes of Dennis Law and those that are coming out there. But the problem is, once you get past Division 3, you are not going to be able to use a lot of these cards unless you want to swim against the current, honestly. Now, that's not to say that you can't use them. I mean, I've had some pretty big giant killings and there's been some brilliant player of the week uh, cards. But I'll show you my favorite ones in a couple of minutes. But um, yeah, it is kind of difficult, right? What I'm saying is like, I've seen a lot of people ask me about these type of cards here. Like the likes of Rogers and Zagrova. Zagrova? Zagrova? Zagrova. Zagrova. This guy, lads, a lot of people are asking me about him, right? He's got some really nice player skills. Obviously, he doesn't have flip-flops, so you can't give him the advanced double touch. Um, but yeah, he does, he does look pretty decent. But the problem is... Attacking midfielders, especially non-hole player attacking midfielders, they're a dime a dozen. There is so many. I can think off the top of my head, probably about 40 attacking midfielders that I could play in, an, in, a, in a position like this. So you're not just comparing them against like the, you know, the beast players um, like Kaka Iniesta. You're also comparing them against previous player of the weeks if you've been playing this game for a long time. But other than that, tight possession, dribbling, ball control, acceleration and balance, all really, really nice. And going to be hitting the threshold on pretty much everything that you could possibly want. Finishing isn't too bad either for a card like this, even though he is inconsistent. It's the same with Rodgers. This guy is a classic number 10. Haven't seen a classic number 10 release in a while. But again, just a little bit, I think, going to be... Yeah, like, not, not unusable. Um, but obviously, Villa are having a great season, so they're going to have a lot of nice cards over the next couple of weeks and months, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I do feel like that once his A rating goes, he's going to kind of go back down to just a very standard card. I would also say the same for Vasquez. Even though he can play all the, all the right uh, flank, he can play right back, right mid, and right wing. It's a fairly decent card. His, his speed, his acceleration is very, very nice as well. But again, it's just a standard card. Like, there's nothing really to get, uh, to get too excited about. And it's the same with this guy here, even though he's a face upgrade. And he has player skills there that are pretty decent. He does have interception and one-touch pass and soul control and double touch, but not flip-flap. True pass and way to pass is always nice. It's a standard card, lads. This is the problem, man. They've really started to reduce, in my opinion, these player of the week cards. Very much so. We also have Gutierrez. This guy's pretty decent as well, but again, another fullback finisher. You're not really going to use this guy too often. He has flip-flap, but he doesn't have any other skills um, that are really going to be, you know, that exciting, I suppose. True pass and pinpoint cross and one-touch pass and interception. That's kind of like, you know, the standard now for cards like this. There's just too many cards in the game, and that's what it is. There's just an ever-ending, you know, bunch of cards. 
Martinelli. So we don't have the Halloween Martinelli, but this card is pretty decent as well. Um, and that's what I would say with all these cards, man. They're all kind of like a solid 5, 6 out of 10. And that's, you know, I would even say that, like, obviously no one's going to be comparing with the likes of Vieira and Dennis Law and Romario and Mbappe and all them kind of players who are like the 9s and 10s out of 10. But, you know, there's a lot of, like, other standard player of the weeks that they've released and free players they've released that have been, you know, solid 7 and 8 out of 10s. And I'll show you in a second. But just to round it off with Nunes, this guy is uh, is quite tasty as well. He's got the technique plus 3. Doesn't have a massive amount of player skills. But, yeah, it's always uh, nice if you are a City fan. Now, I'm going to just show you one thing, right, before we end this video. I'm not saying that Player of the Weeks can't actually compete because we are over here in our free-to-play account. This account that I have is 100% free, okay? I haven't spent one single cent on this account. And you can see here that we have got Martinez at the back, who's a Player of the Week, is quite solid, plays way above his stats. We got this Valverde, this Player of the Week, uh, UCL Valverde, who, in my opinion, is probably in top five free cards that they've released, our top five player of the week cards, I should say, sorry, absolutely insane, we got Messi on a free spin as well, which is always nice, but we do have a lot of nice cards on this, you have Pedri player of the week as well, they do release nice cards every now and again, um, but I just feel, you know, even uh, Tielsman here, very, very decent card as well, even though he's as slow as hell, but yeah, I do feel like that they can do it, but I think temporary boosters would be nice, and have a temporary double booster that lasts a week, what do you guys think?